Dean Taylor Shun Wilder, born October 22, 1985, is an American professional boxer. He held the WBC heavyweight title from 2015 to 2020. By winning the title, Wilder became the first American world heavyweight champion since 2007, which was the longest period of time in boxing history without an American heavyweight champion. As of April 2023, he is ranked as the world's third best active heavyweight by The Ring magazine, ESPN and the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board and fifth by Box Rec. Wilder had a late start to boxing, taking up the sport at 20 years of age. As an amateur, he won a bronze medal in the heavyweight division at the 2008 Olympics. This led to his nickname of the Bronze Bomber, which Wilder coined after Joe Lewis, who was known by the nickname of the Brown Bomber. Wilder is known for his exceptional punching power, having knocked out every opponent he has defeated, and has been described as one of the hardest punchers in boxing history. His knockout to win percentage stands at 97.67%, the highest in heavyweight history, with 20 of his knockouts 48% in the first round. He is a three-time winner of the Premier Boxing Champions Knockout of the Year Award 2016. 2017, 2019, and a winner of the Ring Magazine Knockout of the Year Award, 2019. Amateur Career Wilder started boxing in October 2005, when he entered ski boxing gym in Northport, Alabama, and began training under JDs. Wilder was 20 at that time. By 2007, he upset the favorites to win both the National Golden Gloves and the U.S. Championships at 201 pounds, 91 kilograms. At the Golden Gloves, he defeated highly touted cadet world champion Isha Thomas, a southpaw from Detroit, and David Thompson, of Brooklyn, in the finals. At the U.S. Championship he defeated Qantas Graves and won the final 31-15 over southpaw James Zimmerman of San Jose, California. At the Olympic Trials, he beat Graves twice more and won the Olympic Trials in only 21 bouts. Early in 2008 he scored a career-best win by edging out world championship silver medalist and future Olympic champion Rakim Shakiev in Russia. He qualified for the Olympics by beating Divas Julio 6, 5 George Quinones from Ecuador on double countback and Brazilian Rafael Lima 6, 5 at the qualifier. In a Russia-USA duel match on February 29, 2008, in Novosibirsk, Wilder was knocked out by Evgeny Romanov. Wilder then competed at heavyweight in the 2008 Olympics, defeating Abdelaz Istuilbini of Algeria and Mohamed Arjaoui of Morocco before losing to Clemente Russo of Italy in the semi-final to earn a bronze medal. Wilder had an approximate amateur record of 30-5. Olympic Results Boxing at the 2008 Summer Olympics, defeated Abdelaz Istobini, Algeria, 10, 4 defeated Mohamed Arjaoui, Morocco, 10 plus, 10, tiebreaker criteria, lost to Clemente Russo, Italy, 1, 7 World Championship results. 2007 ABA World Boxing Championships, lost to Krzysztof Zimnik, Poland, 20-23, October 24, 2007, professional career. Early career Wilder made his professional debut at the age of 23 on November 15, 2008, at the Vanderbilt University Memorial Gymnasium in Nashville, Tennessee. He faced Ethan Cox, 2-2-1, winning by second-round technical knockout TKO after knocking Cox down three times. Wilder fought seven times in 2009, winning all the fights in round one. By October 2012, Wilder racked up a 25-fight win streak, winning all by knockout and all within four rounds. Some notable stoppages included former by heavyweight title challenger Owen Beck 27-10, 20 Koss, former Bolite heavyweight title challenger Dandria Braun 15-6, 10 Koss and former Bo heavyweight challenger Damon Reed 46-15, 32 Koss. Wilder won his first title in professional boxing when he knocked out 37-year-old Kelvin Price, 13-0, 6 costs, at the Memorial Sports Arena in Los Angeles, 
On December 15, 2012, the fight was originally slated to take place in August 2012. Wilder fought patiently through the first two rounds and mostly measured Price. The fight ended when a right hand from Wilder caught Price on the jaw and sent him back into the ropes and down. He attempted to get to his feet, but struggled which led referee Ray Corona to wave an end to the bout. Wilder claimed the vacant WBC Continental Americas heavyweight title, which he went on to successfully defend twice. Rise up the ranks. On April 3, 2013, Golden Boy Promotions announced that Wilder would fight former European heavyweight champion and 2000 Olympic gold medalist Rodley Harrison 31-6-23 Koss at the Motor Point Arena in Sheffield, his UK debut, on April 27. On May 9, Frank Warren announced a card that would take place at the Wembley Arena in London on June 15, 2013 which would feature Wilder and British boxer Derek Chisora as the main event. In June, Golden Boy announced Wilder would main event a triple header of a Showtime card at the Fantasy Springs Casino in Indio, California, against former Bow heavyweight champion Sierra Haliakovich, 25-5-16 Koss on August 9, 2013, in a 10-round bout. Two months later in October, Wilder knocked out Nikolai Firtha 21-10-1, 8 costs in 4 rounds to maintain his knockout streak. Prior to the stoppage, Firtha was dropped twice in the opening round. In August 2014, Wilder fought journeyman and former pre fighter finalist Jason Gavern 25-16-4, 11 costs in a 10-round bout. The fight took place at the Stub Up Center in Carson, California on the undercard of the Ibe welterweight fight between Sean Porter and Kell Brook fight. Gavern was knocked down in rounds 3 and 4. His corner threw in the towel after round 4 giving Wilder another stoppage victory. WBC heavyweight champion. Wilder vs. Stivern Wilder in 2015. On January 17, 2015, billed as Return to Glory. Wilder fought Stivern at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada for the WBC heavyweight title. Wilder became the first American heavyweight world champion since Shannon Briggs by defeating Stivern by unanimous decision after 12 rounds. Wilder vs. Molina. On May 8, 2015, Wilder announced that he would make his first defense in his home state of Alabama, which would be the first heavyweight title fight held in the state. Wilder last fought in Alabama in 2012. Showtime confirmed they would televise the bout live on June 13 at Bartle Arena, Birmingham, Alabama. Wilder vs. De Alpes. In August 2015, it was announced that Wilder would make his second defense against WBC No. 12 Johan De Alpes, 32-2, 20 costs on September 26 at the Legacy Arena, Alabama. 63 in front of a hometown crowd of 8,471 in attendance, Wilder beat De Alpes by TKO in the 11th round. Wilder vs. Spilka DMT Wilder poses with the WBC Championship belt in December 2015, Showtime confirmed that terms had been agreed for Wilder to defend his WBC title against Polish boxer Artur Spilka, 20-1. 15 costs on January 16, 2016, at the Barclays Center, Brooklyn, New York, where the winner would be scheduled to fight WBC mandatory challenger Alexander Povetkin after the fight, newly crowned heavyweight champion Tyson Fury entered the ring going face to face in a heated verbal exchange with Wilder, calling him out. In the post-fight press conference, Wilder rated his performance at 5 tenths. Wilder vs. Povetkin cancelled fight Wilder was due to make the fourth defense of his WBC heavyweight title against former but regular champion and mandatory challenger Alexander Povetkin 30-1, 22 costs on May 21, 2016, at the Megasport Arena in Moscow, Russia. Povetkin was considered by many to be Wilder's toughest opponent to date and was on a four-fight knockout streak since suffering his only defeat to Vladimir Klitschko in late 2013. However, a week before the fight on May 14, 
It was reported that Povetkin had tested positive for the banned substance meldonium. Promoter Andrei Ryabinsky added that Povetkin did take meldonium in 2015, but stopped before it was banned, and only left over traces of meldonium at a very low concentration. 70 nanograms were found in a blood sample given by the 36-year-old last month. Wilder vs. Ariala. Following Wilder's return to the U.S., on May 26, former two-time world title challenger Chris Ariola, 36-4-1-2-31 Koss, became the frontrunner to challenge Wilder. At the time, Ariola was not ranked by the WBC because he had tested positive for marijuana after his fight against Travis Kaufman. His 90-day suspension ended in March 2016 and was likely to re-enter the WBC rankings. By June 13, the fight was confirmed and would take place on July 16, 2016, at the Legacy Arena, Birmingham, Alabama. According to promoter Luda Bella, Wilder spent most of the night at the AB hospital. He would be back at the hospital soon, likely for two surgeries, one to repair each injury. This ruled him out for the remainder of 2016. Diente is definitely out for the remainder of the year, but we will know more in the next few days, Dabella said. Wilder vs. Washington. Wilder announced in November that he had fully recovered and was back in training following surgery. His return fight was scheduled to be in early 2017. In December, Peter Fury announced there were active talks to get Huey Fury a world title fight against Wilder for the first quarter of 2017. Fury would not be considered as a voluntary due to being ranked at number 26 by the WBC, but Peter hoped Fury would be bumped into the top 15 after the WBC convention in December. On December 21, 2016, according to Wilder's manager JDs, there were advanced talks for a fight to take place on February 25, 2017, at the Legacy Arena in Alabama against 29-year-old two-time Polish heavyweight champion and former world title challenger Andrzej Warzyk 33-1-19 Koss. On January 25, 2017, it was reported that Warzyk had failed a drug test, ruling him out of the fight. With a month to go until the fight, Wilder was determined that he would find a replacement to fight him on short notice and not postpone the fight card. 99-100 Luis Ortiz put himself forward for the fight only to be shot down due to him failing drug tests in the past. In front of a hometown crowd of 12,346, Wilder won by TKO in round 5. Washington started off strong with power punches as Wilder moved around with jabs. Midway through the fifth, Wilder got Washington against the ropes and landed a combination of power shots, the last shot being a left to the head of Washington, dropping him backwards against the ropes. Washington recovered quickly on unsteady legs. Following the fight, there was an altercation between Wilder and Dominic Breezeal, who had knocked out his wag Bugano on the undercard. Breezeal claimed that Wilder and his entourage attacked him in front of his wife at the Weston Birmingham Hotel. This came after Breezeal supposedly had a fracas with Wilder's younger brother, Marcellos, at ringside during Wilder's fight. Wilder vs. Stivern 2. On February 27, 2017, the WBC ordered Wilder to fight mandatory challenger Berman Stivern, with negotiations to begin immediately. On July 18, 2017, it was reported that a deal was being negotiated for Wilder to make his sixth defense of his WBC title against heavyweight contender Luis Ortiz 27-0-23 Koss, to North Carolina. Wilder's promoter Lou Bella had put the Barclays Center in Brooklyn on hold for October 14 and November 4, 2017. On October 4, the WBC withdrew its sanction on the Wilder vs. Ortiz fight and ordered Wilder to fight mandatory Stivern 25-2-1-21 Koss. The next day, Showtime announced the fight. On fight night, in front of 10,924, Wilder retained his WBC title with a commanding first-round knockout. Wilder knocked Stivern down three times before referee Arthur Merquante stopped the fight at 2.59 of the round. 
Wilder started the fight using his jab to keep Stivern at distance. A right hand put Stivern down for the first knockdown. Wilder vs. Ortiz Luis Ortiz made his return to the ring after the failed drugs test by knocking out journeyman Daniel Martz on December 8. Wilder was sat ringside on commentary for the fight. After the fight, Ortiz called out Wilder, who then stepped into the ring and said to Ortiz, I guarantee you, you'll have the fight. Wilder overcame difficulty and knocked Ortiz out in round 10 to retain his WBC title in front of a crowd of 14,069. Both boxers started the fight cautious with Wilder throwing the jab, however Ortiz seemed to do more in the opening four rounds throwing combinations. At the time of stoppage, all three judges had their scorecards 85-84 in favor of Wilder. After the fight, Wilder spoke about his win and praised Ortiz. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. A true champion always finds a way to come back, and that's what I did tonight. Wilder vs Fury from April until the end of June 2018, both camps of Joshua and Wilder were in talks around a heavyweight unification fight. The main hurdles were per split, date and venue. On July 30th, it was reported that there were ongoing negotiations for a fight to take place in either November or December 2018 between former unified heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury 27-0, 19 Koss and Wilder. By the end of August, contracts for the fight to take place had been signed. On September 22, both fighters confirmed they had signed the contract and the fight would take place on December 1, 2018. The weigh-in took place on November 30th, on a made platform outside the Los Angeles Convention Center. Fury stepped on the scale first and weighed in at 256 plus one half pounds, his lightest since his comeback following his layoff. In front of a crowd of 17,698 at the Staples Center, Wilder and Fury fought a 12-round split decision draw, meaning Wilder retained his WBC title. There was not much action in round one as both boxers used the round to feel each other out. Wilder tried to trap Fury into the corner, but Fury made Wilder miss most of his big swings. In round four, Wilder bloodied Fury's nose with his stiff jabs, but was unable to follow up on the attacks. According to CompaBox statistics, Wilder landed 71 punches of 430 thrown, 17% and Fury landed 84 of his 327 thrown, 26%. Wilder was much less accurate in this fight than he usually had been in previous fights. Fury outlanded Wilder in 9 out of the 12 rounds. Both Wilder and Fury only landed double digits in 4 separate rounds. After the fight, both men gave in-ring interviews. Wilder stated, I think with the two knockdowns, I definitely won the fight. We poured our hearts out tonight. We're both warriors. I rushed my punches. Wilder and Fury both claimed to be the best heavyweights in the world and both called out unified world champion Anthony Joshua. Fury shouted, Chicken! Chicken! Joshua, where are you? Wilder then agreed to state the two best heavyweights got into the ring and fought. The event was both a critical and a commercial success. The fight reportedly sold approximately 350,000 pay-per-view buys on Showtime in the United States, grossing around $30 million, making it the most lucrative heavyweight fight in the country since John Ruiz vs. Roy Jones Jr. in 2003. Wilder vs. Breezeal On the evening of May 18, 2019, Wilder defended his WBC heavyweight title against mandatory challenger Dominic Breezeal who was ranked number 4 by the WBC, via knockout with 43 seconds left in the first round. Wilder caught him with a powerful right which sent Breezeal flat on his back and unable to continue with the referee waving off the contest after reaching the 10 count. Prior to the fight, Wilder had again made controversial comments about wanting to kill an opponent in the ring, saying he was trying to get a body on my record and that boxing is the only sport where you can kill a man and get paid for it at the same time. This was not the first time Wilder had alluded to killing an opponent, having made similar remarks previously in 2017 about Berman Stivern. However, despite the pre-fight animosity, the two men reconciled after the fight's conclusion, 
with Wilder saying, I've told him, Brazil, I love him and I want to see him go home to his family. Wilder vs. Ortiz 2 In a rematch of their 2018 fight, Wilder faced Luis Ortiz again on November 23, 2019, winning by 7th round knockout to retain his WBC heavyweight title after being behind on all three of the judges' scorecards 58-56 and 59-55, twice. After the fight, Wilder was full of praise for his opponent calling Ortiz the most dangerous heavyweight in the division and an amazing fighter. Ortiz was ranked number three by the WBC at the time. 184 Wilder's knockout of Ortiz was selected as the winner of the Ring Magazine Knockout of the Year Award for 2019. His rematch with Ortiz had been the sixth time Wilder had fought a boxer who was ranked in the global heavyweight top ten by box rec within a year of the bout. The others were Malik Scott, Co. 1, Berman Stivern, Ood 12, Luis Ortiz in their first match, TKO 10, Tyson Fury, South Dakota 12, and Dominic Brazil, Co. 1. The win marked Wilder's 10th successful consecutive defense of his heavyweight title, tying Muhammad Ali's 10 consecutive defenses. Wilder was happy to accomplish the feat, it feels amazing. Muhammad Ali is one of my idols. Wilder and Ali's feet is only battered by Joe Lewis, Larry Holmes, Vladimir Klitschko and Tommy Burns. Wilder failed to surpass Ali's total, as he went on to lose his next fight. Wilder vs. Fury 2 Main article, Deontay Wilder vs. Tyson Fury 2 on November 27, 2019, it was announced that Wilder would face Tyson Fury on February 22, 2020 in a rematch of their 2018 bout which resulted in a draw. Wilder weighed in at a career heaviest 231 pounds, while Fury at 273 pounds also weighed in heavier for the rematch than he did for the first bout. In the post-fight interview, Wilder's head trainer JD stated that he disagreed with his co-trainer's decision to stop the fight, saying, Mark Breland threw in the towel, I didn't think he should've. Wilder attributed his defeat to factors including his water being spiked as if I took a muscle relaxer, his ring walk costume being way too heavy for me it weighed 40 pounds with the helmet and all the batteries, and that fury had scratched flesh out of my ears which caused them to bleed. Post-title career. Wilder vs. Fury 3 on May 17, 2021. Arbitration Judge Daniel Weinstein ruled that WBC and the ring champion Tyson Fury will have to honor a contractual clause which calls for a third fight with Wilder. That same month, it was announced that Wilder had appointed his former rival turned friend Malik Scott as his new head trainer, calling Scott a genius. 208 Ahead of the pre-fight press conference on June 15, the venue was officially confirmed as T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. On the night of the fight, both men exchanged a total of five knockdowns as Fury won the bout via 11th round knockout. Wilder had started the first round well, jabbing the champion to the body and landing several clean right hands to his chest and stomach, doing enough to win the first round on all three judges' scar guards. In the second, Fury landed some good shots in the clinch. At the time of the stoppage, Wilder was behind on all three judges' scar cards with 95-91, 94-92, and 95-92. Six days after the conclusion of the fight, on October 15, Wilder released a statement on social media paying tribute to God, his team, his fans and Fury, I would like to first and foremost thank God for allowing me to give the world another part of me that's driven with passion and determination. Wilder vs. Hellenius in August 2022, it was announced that Wilder will have his first fight a year later after his Fury loss. It was announced Wilder would be facing Finland's Robert Hellenius, with the fight scheduled to take place on October 15, 2022, at Brooklyn's Barclays Center. On the fight night, Wilder code Hellenius with a short right hand at 2.57 of the first round. Personal life. Wilder has eight children. Wilder's first child, a daughter with ex-girlfriend Helen Duncan, was born in 2005 with spina bifida. Wilder also has two other daughters and one son with Jessica Scales Wilder, 
whom he married in 2009 and later divorced. Wilder is currently engaged to and has a child with Telly Swift and has been featured on the reality television show, Wags Atlanta. Wilder comes from a family of Alabama preachers, namely his father and grandmother. He has three sisters and one younger brother. His brother Marcelo's Wilder is also a professional boxer. Marcelo's currently fights in the cruiserweight division and has a 5-3 record. As a youngster, Wilder attended church every week. He has referred to his belief in Christianity, saying that God is very important in my life. Wilder graduated from Tuscaloosa Central High School in 2004 and dreamed of playing football wide receiver or basketball forward for his hometown Alabama Crimson Tide, but the birth of his oldest daughter and poor grades caused him to attend nearby Shelton State Community College and to focus on a boxing career. Wilder later revealed that during this time, he struggled with depression and had briefly contemplated suicide via a gunshot. When reflecting on the incident, he stated, You don't think about what effect it would cause for your family, your daughter, your kids and so forth and so on in that state of mind, you just become selfish. You think of the inner pain and the outer pain that you're feeling right at that very moment in time. On May 4, 2013, Las Vegas police were called at around 7.30 a.m. for a reported battery at a hotel in the 3,700 block of South Las Vegas Boulevard, where Wilder and a woman were taken into custody. He was held at Clark County Detention Center on charges of domestic battery by strangulation, and was released on a $15,000 bond. According to the police, the woman had swollen eyebrows, a possibly broken nose, a cut lip, and red marks on her neck. She was taken to the University Medical Center of Southern Nevada and treated for her injuries. Wilder's attorney Paul Patterson claimed Wilder had instinctively acted under the false impression that someone was stealing from him, and that he regrets his actions. He had apparently been in Las Vegas to watch the Floyd Mayweather Jr. vs. Robert Guerrero fight. In May 2022, Wilder was honored with a statue in his hometown of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The statue is made out of bronze in homage to Wilder's fight nickname, the Bronze Bomber.